you Power Girls ready. designed by my dad, who is both a doctor and a personal trainer. Each month, I will be posting a new and exciting workout led by girls for girls on YouTube or on my website at powergirlfitness.com. Because it is my mission to absolutely change the way that girls all over the world take care of their bodies by changing how they eat, exercise, and replace their bad habits with good ones. Because I truly believe that better choices mean a better body and better life. Here at Power Girl Fitness, our focus is power, passion, and performance. We want you to look better, feel better, and perform better at everything you do. To get the most out of your workout, make sure you visit my website at powergirlfitness.com to get lots of cool and free tips to get you in the best shape. So who's ready to take action? Great, let's get started. Remember, you should always check with your doctor before you begin any exercise program. Some of this stuff can get pretty intense, and I wouldn't want you to get hurt. Now let me introduce the other girls working out with us today. Here's Brooklyn, and she's nine. Hey. And here's Maddie, she's 16. Hey. And they're going to be working out with us today. Those of you who are just beginning will be with Brooklyn who will show the easier exercises to help you get started slowly without overdoing it. I'll be doing the more advanced workout that most of you will be able to follow through. And Maddie will be doing more difficult exercises at an elite level. Before we begin, make sure you are dressed properly for your workout and have enough space to move around without bumping into anything. And make sure you have a glass of water nearby so you can keep hydrated. So, are you ready? Yeah! I can't hear you. I said, are you ladies ready? Yeah! Great, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is warm up our body for a couple of minutes. So let's start with neck rotations. This increases our flexibility and prevents injury. And since all of our nerves have to pass from our brain, through our neck, we need to take real good care of it. So let's start with neck rotation. Start at your right shoulder and go to your left and back. That's one. That's two. We're doing five of these. That's three and half circles. That's four. And that's five. Great job. Okay, now we're gonna do shoulder raises to loosen up our shoulders. So. Let's raise our shoulders to our ears and hold that for one second. And push down as far as you can. And hold this for a second. We're gonna do five of these. Three, two, one, go. Up and hold. Down and hold. Up and hold. That's one. Down and hold. Up. That's two. Down. Up. That's three. Down. Up, that's four, and down. Up, that's five, and down. Great job. Now to finish warming up our shoulders, we're gonna do hand crossovers. So put your hands in a 45 degree angle and push back as far as you can and pretend you're giving yourself a big hug. We're gonna do five of these, and let's go. One, and up, two, and up, three, and up, four, and up, Five, and up, great job. Now the other arm, the exact same at a 45 degree angle to the floor. And give yourself a hug. One, two, three, four, and 
five. Great job. Now we're gonna loosen our butt muscles in the backs of our legs called our hamstrings with walking knee hugs. So stand shoulder width apart and step forward with your left leg, grabbing your right leg to your chest and down. We're gonna do six of these. That's two. That's three. That's four. Five, and last one. Six. Great job. Now we're gonna warm up the front of our legs called a quarter step with a walking heel to butt warm up. So, stand shoulder width apart, step forward with your left leg, and we're doing six of these again. Grab your toes and pull it into your butt. And hold that. Four. And down. Two. Three. Four. Great job. Now that we have our legs and our arms warmed up, now we're gonna finish by doing 10 squat thrusts to warm up our arms, legs, and core. So stand shoulder width apart, squat down, keep your legs out into a push -up position, and then quickly bring them back into a squat and stand up. If you're a beginner, you're gonna squat down, put one leg out at a time into a push -up position, and then one leg back into a squat and stand up. If you are an elite, you're gonna squat down, out into a push-up position, and do one push-up into a squat, and then stand up. Three, two, one, let's go, we're doing 10. Down, out, in, that's one. Down, out, in, that's two. That's three. Down, out, in. That's four. Down, out, in. That's five. That's six. That's seven. Down, out, in. That's eight. That's nine. That's ten. Great job. Okay, so now that we got our heart pumping and our muscles warmed up, now it's time for some heart pumping, foot pounding, sweat pouring, cardio training. This is where we burn fat to get that gorgeous power girl body. Since this section of the workout is the most intense, make sure you do this at your own speed and stop if you feel dizzy or out of breath. Because today I'm going to introduce you to a little jump training called plyometrics. Don't worry if you're a beginner, your feet won't leave the floor. But for those of you who are ready for a challenge, you're in for a treat. We're gonna start with side step foot grabs. So, step twice to the right and kick your foot to your chest and twice to the left, and kick your foot to the chest. Okay, we're gonna do this for one minute. Three, two, one, go! Step, step, grab, 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 step, step. Keep going, you're doing great! Now we're gonna do split squat jumps. 
These are the first jump training exercises to develop your explosive power that you need for sports, gymnastics, and dance. If you're a beginner, you're going to be doing step back lunges, which you step back with one leg to the other, no jumping. If you're an advanced, you're going to jump from either with your hands still by your side. And if you're an elite, you're going to add big arm swings. We're going to do this for one minute. Three, two, one, go! Make sure that your knee does not go over your toe. And try and get your knee to down to the floor without touching the floor. Great job. Keep going, we're almost done. Now let's keep our heart rate up with some modified jumping jacks called Rockstar Jacks. I love these because they work your core by crunching from side to side to side. Unlike a normal jumping jack, your hands and feet stay apart like a star. That's why they're called Rockstars. If you're a beginner, your feet won't leave the floor and you'll crunch from side to side to side as fast as you can. Now, if you're an elite, and advanced, you're gonna jump and rock from side to side as fast as you can. Ready? We're gonna do this for one minute. Three, two, one, bring it on. One. Keep going, ladies. You're doing awesome. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Doing a 
Great job. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. You did amazing. Great job, ladies. Our last cardio exercise is my favorite because it works about every muscle in your gorgeous little body. And they are called burpees, and they are intense. So if you're a beginner, if you're a beginner, you're gonna squat down, step one leg out at a time, and back in, just like the squat thrust, but it's different. And then jump and pretend you're touching the ceiling, and reach to touch the ceiling. Now if you're an advanced, you're gonna squat down, and jump out into a push-up position, then jump back into a squat, and jump and touch the ceiling. And if you're an elite, you're gonna squat down, kick out into a push-up position, add one push-up, kick back in, and do a star jump out. Great job, ready? Let's do this for 20 seconds, and then stop for 20 seconds, and then another 20 seconds. Ready, three, two, one, go! your breath. While you do that, I'm going to give you the tip of the day. Today's training tip is write it down. You should be keeping a Power Girl Fitness training book and a pen at every workout for the strengthening part of the workout and the more challenging cardio. 
so you can see how you've improved over time and to set your goals. Here at Power Girl Fitness, our motto is power, passion, and performance. So you bring the passion, I'll give you the tools to develop the power and increase your performance. Writing everything down is a key way to get big results.